Raise your hand if you got new fragrances in today. Me. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the fragrance wardrobe. Break the glass. Today I'm going to do my first impressions on two that I got. They're going to be imaginary authors. I did pick these up from another reviewer who just did a declutter video. So, scent of the day with Angie, SOTD with Angie. Go check out her channel. She makes some really awesome content. It's really easy to watch, really easy to listen to. So, all around, really good content creator and super duper nice. So, um, she gave me a little bit of a deal on these two fragrances since she was doing a declutter. So, big thank you to Angie for the deal you gave me. All right, I have two in here. Like I said, imaginary authors. I I guess I have about six or seven, maybe eight of them now. Uh, I'm trying to collect the house. Well, those that are still in production, there's like some stuff that kind of went out of, um, that went discontinued that I'm not gonna be able to get, but I'm trying to collect all of them. And she had a couple I need in my collection. All right, so here they are. And they're actually both one I've tried out, one's a blind buy. I've actually wanted both of them really badly. So the first one, Memoirs of a Trespasser. I do have a decade of this one. Uh, I've been wanting it for quite a while, but when I put in like my imaginary author's haul, the weather was turning. So I figured I would wait, you know, till the cool weather came back around to get this one, but opportunity arose, so I got it. And this one is Yesterday's Haze. So super excited about both of these. Let's go ahead and start with um, let's start with yesterday's haze. I think a lot of people have probably smelled memoirs. So let's start with this one. And the decant that is in here is going to be a decant of Saint Julep, which I got. All right, so here is the bottle. Label will wrap all three sides. It's a vinyl label. And of course, the box looks like a book, which it opens up and it sits in there like that, in case you've never seen that. Uh, and here we go. Oh wow, this is like super full. So I got a really good deal on this. All right, atomizer, decent. Yeah, I do like that a lot. Okay, so cool story, I have like, eight fragrances on my arms including my scent of the day around here so we're going on paper today i'm trying to trying to decide like what niche summer stuff i might want to pick up next it smells good um there's like a kind of like a burning scent in here you know what i can read the Read the label here. So on the back, we do have some notes listed. You have fig, iris, cream, tonka, uh, tree bark, walnut, bitters, and orchid, or, and orchard dust. I think that would be your imaginary note. I do get the fig. I feel like I'm picking up the tonka. There's a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of a also like a creaminess as well i guess that could be coming from that cream there we go so yeah get the fig there's a really nice creaminess a little bit of sweetness tonka's playing in there but that cream's preventing it from going powdery there's almost like a little bit of i don't know if i would refer to it as smoke or like a burnt feel Smells really good. I, I do like this one quite a bit. I was really stoked about possibly picking this up um, when I was reading the stuff on the website. Smells good. This thing, you could wear this in the summertime for sure. So if you're looking to pick one up from the house, yesterday's haze, uh, I think it works in the summer, at least on the opening. I don't know what, how, I have no idea how it's gonna dry down. Wow, it got really, tongue jumbled up there it 
I don't know if I'm picking up the iris very much. But yeah, okay, so you have like that nice fig that gives it like a warm weather vibe. Creaminess from the cream, a little bit of sweetness from that tonka. Yeah, all in all, that's a good scent. I do like that quite a bit. But like I said, I don't know how it's going to dry down. Um, but yeah, all in all, good first impression for Yesterday Haze. Really good. I like that. Okay, and now we have Memoirs of a Trespasser. This one gained quite a bit of fame, a lot of hype in the community, you know, I guess a couple years ago, something like that. And it still gets talked about. So when I know a lot of people, when they think of the house, a lot of people think of this fragrance. The, oh, sweet. So the decant is soft lawn, which they do have a second edition reformulation out. I think, I don't know if it's gonna be different than this or not, but I have been wanting to smell that because I've been thinking about getting it. Uh, okay. And here's your presentation for memoirs that let's see our note breakdown madagascar vanilla guyac wood myrrh bergamot benzoin resin ambret ambret seeds and oak barrels would be your imaginary note this one very much vanilla i think it might have a little bit of burning scent to it as well so yeah that's pretty full as well atomizer shoot okay Let's get some paper. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I shot it, and at first I was like, where'd it go? But now it's really engulfing. It does not take much with this one, I don't think, because, I mean, it's really filling up right here. Get the vanilla. It's kind of like a burnt type of vanilla. Very resinous, vanilla, and you do, I, I do pick up kind of like a burnt type of vibe from it, if that makes sense. If you've smelled this, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's a really good vanilla, so it is very vanilla centric, but with this one, it's not going to smell like your run of the mill vanilla scent because it does have like this little burnt type of feel to it. It's very resinous. It, it, it does its own thing. It's a vanilla scent that doesn't smell like every other vanilla scent. It's very good. This one, I probably wouldn't wear it in the summertime. To be honest with you, I'm probably not. I'm gonna put this bottle away and I probably won't reach for it until the fall. So probably for Texas, probably November <laughs> is probably what I'm going to reach for it. But it is a really nice scent. I do like it. It's a very interesting, like uncommon vanilla scent. So wear that if you're looking for a vanilla that doesn't smell like every other vanilla. It's really good. These are going to cost you like $95 on the Imaginary Authors website. You can also get them like at Aereo like at arielshoshana.com. That's where I usually pick up most of my niche stuff. Like if I'm looking for something and they have it, I'm buying it from them because their customer service is like second to none and I like to support them. So, and the prices are gonna be the same at their site as well, $95. Now I got these for a little bit less, got them for 75 each, which I think is phenomenal deal. So very, very happy. And I'm probably going to um, give Yesterday Haze a couple wears this summer, I imagine. And I do look forward to the fall and busting out memoirs. All right, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video. All right, guys, don't forget to give me that trifecta. I need a like on the video, <laughs> the, subscribe, the subscribe, and the ringing of the bell. So if you haven't done those things, do them right now. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys with the next video.